When you factor a number, basically all you're doing is you're taking the number and you're breaking it apart into a product of two numbers. And so, for example, if you had the number, let's say 12, and you wanted to factor the number 12, then there's a lot of different ways you can factor 12. One way would be six times two. And we would call the six and the two, we would call those factors of the number 12. Uh, we could also say three times four. That's another way to factor 12. We could say 12 times one. Any of these ways would be valid ways of factoring the number 12. And all of these individual numbers, the six, the two, the three, the four, the 12, and the one, these would all be considered different factors of the number 12. Now 12 has a lot of factors. It's got uh, one, two, three, four, six, and 12. That's, that's quite a lot of factors. Some numbers do not factor like 12 does in, in a lot of different ways. We have a name for those numbers. These are called prime numbers. Now to be a prime number, you do have to be a whole number. You have to be a natural number that's greater than one to even be considered as a prime number. But in addition to being greater than one, the only divisors that your number can have are simply one in itself. In other words, your number doesn't factor. So 12 would not be considered prime because it has a divisor like six and three and four uh, other than one in itself. So what would be an example of a prime number? Uh, maybe let's do the same thing that we did for 12 with the number seven. So how would we factor seven? Well, you could say one times seven, but that's it. There's no two times anything, three, four, five, or six times anything that'll give you the number seven. So it's greater than one, seven is, and the only divisors that it has are one in itself. So seven would be considered a prime number. Now, if your number is not prime and it's greater than one, then we call it a composite number. So examples of composite numbers would be like 12 because 12 has factors of one and two and three and four and six and 12. It's got a lot of numbers. It's great. A lot of factors is greater than one and it's not prime. Uh, so is 10. So is um, even nine is prime because it's three times three. It has more factors than just one and nine and so on and so forth. All right, and so let, let's do this. This will, be, this will be pretty quick. Let's look at the first 40 numbers, and, and you could keep going, I'll just, I'll just do 40, and let's uh, circle the prime numbers. So, uh, and actually, let's also circle the, the composite numbers with a different color. Okay, so uh, two would be a prime number, because the only way that two factors are one in itself, and is greater than one. Three is a prime number, Four is not. Four is a composite number because it does factor with factors other than one and four, one in itself, like two times two. Um, five is a prime number. Uh, seven is a prime number. Six is not, because you can write six as a composite number, two times three. Um, eight is a composite number, because it's one times eight, or also two times four, for example. Uh, nine is composite, 10 is composite, 11 is a prime number because the only way it factors are one times 11, that's it. 12 is composite, two times six for example, 13 is prime, 14 is composite, two times seven, 15 is composite, three times five, 16 is composite, two times eight, uh, 17, however, is prime, 18 is composite, 9 times 2, 19 is prime, 20 is composite, like 2 times 10, and actually I'm starting to see a shortcut here. All the even numbers other than 2 have to be composite because they're a multiple of 2 at least. So I can save myself some time. And let me just go ahead and circle all the even numbers just to speed things along. And let's see if there's any other shortcuts. Um, any multiples of three are gonna be composite other than three because it's a multiple of three. So 21's composite is three times seven. 
um, 27's composite because it's 3 times 9, 33's composite, 39's composite, and so on and so forth. So we're really trimming down our list. Uh, 23 is prime. Um, 25 is composite because it's 5 times 5. Uh, 29 is prime. 31 is prime. 35 is composite is 7 times 5. And 37 is prime. And so you see sprinkled in throughout all these numbers, you have some prime numbers and you have some composite numbers. Now there is kind of a weird, uh, kind of oddball back here at the beginning. What about one? Well, remember, in the, embedded in the definitions of both composite and prime was the fact that the number had to be greater than one. So one is not even in the discussion. It's, um, it's not prime or composite. So in our little analysis here, the prime were the green numbers. And then we also actually, in addition, did composite as well in pink.